there was this thing with Facebook, right? Whether whether there was bias in the algorithm. I'll, I'll let you unpack that then. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Well, you know, better. I, I can set the stage, and you know the case better. But so, you know, did did this aspect of Facebook's news feed? Um, were there humans involved in changing the order of how prominent something is? And and people were aghast that humans might have played a role because they all think that Facebook should just be using unbiased algorithms. But the trouble is there's no such thing as an unbiased algorithm. So I'm not really going to comment on the details of the situation. I don't really know exactly what was done. Um, but I think it suffices to say that something that's obvious to those of us working in the field is that there's no such thing as something that's unbiased. So from an AI perspective, there's, there's something called the no free lunch theorem. And this no free lunch theorem says you can't have um, one algorithm that's universally good at everything that every algorithm is going to have its strengths and its weaknesses. I run an algorithm company now. We're trying to find algorithms that we think fit in the real world in a particular way, but our algorithms aren't universal. They're not like a universal solvent that could dissolve everything. They're, they're good for some kind of problems and not others. Well, all algorithms are like that. And if you're talking about using an algorithm with respect to human beings, there's always going to be some kind of bias. So I mean, the first thing you have to do is have programmers and you know, CEOs and so forth who understand that, who understand that there is no kind of objective truth out there, that whatever algorithm you pick, there, there is something in there that, that is going to bias one way or another. And you're trying to like, minimize that bias or minimize you know, certain kinds of errors. But there is no absolute truth, and there's no way of taking humans out. I mean, humans made the algorithm in the first place, and they made decisions about which data to collect and how to count them. And once you've made those decisions about what you're counting, you know, what things you put together in a category, there's already bias there. 